So let's talk a bit about how we would sample. So say I want to draw a, two, a true sample from a model. So this is an interesting sort of area of, of probability and statistics that I think is rarely taught. Um, there are a lot of good books on it, but I've rarely seen courses on it. Um, and the question is this, given a probability distribution, and you can ask this for many different classes of distributions, how do I come, how do I derive an algorithm that takes true samples from a model? That is, who's, uh, generates a random variant whose distribution is the model. So there are a lot of interesting algorithms for Gaussians and things. Um, and it turns out in the case of a language model, it's quite simple. If we have an autoregressive parameterization of the language model, then what we do is we sample a Y, we sample, we sample a token according to the local conditional distribution. We then plug it in and we keep sampling. So this is demonstrated by this picture. Um, Um, so we choose this using the local conditional distribution, um, and, and this is, is how we'd sample. We can also consider something like greedy search, where it's another common method where we deterministically um, choose the, the most probable element at every time step. Um, but this is actually an interesting algorithm um, because it, it's sort of superficially um, similar to this sampling procedure. Um, however, uh, it's not actually guaranteed to be uh, a true argmax. So these are sort of the two most common ways of thinking about generating text. We have something like greedy search, where we take an argmax, and we sample, where we take a, a um, where we sample according to this local conditional. And this one here is, as I said, a, it's a correct algorithm in a sense, in that it will generate true samples from the model. Uh, the way you could prove that is to simply show that the probability choose a string at an arbitrary string and show that the probability of having been generated is exactly the same of its probability under the model. Um, so given this, um, the question is, why do we want more than this sort of sampling routine? One obvious sort of greedy search, and you might say, well, you might even be able to justify this by saying that something like machine translation, I probably want a single translation or something I want some deterministic procedure. Um, but what, what ends up happening is that researchers also consider things like this. And this is um, a general paradigm of developing samples, um, is something called truncation sampling. So the idea here is that we have some distinguished set, which is um, V sub n, uh, in this case, how we denoted it. Um, and what this says is that we're going to sort of zero out elements um, elements, um, possible things we could sample that are not in this distinguished set. And the reason we wanna do this, um, and the reason this is sort of the, the best algorithms that look like this are often the best, um, the best reported, the best performing algorithms of the literature is that this sort of is a very uh, blunt way or brutal way of preventing the fact that we don't believe the tails of the, this, this the low probability items are, are, are well estimated. For instance, if we do not believe that the, 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 the low probability items are well estimated, then a very simple way of simply avoiding that problem is to say, okay, I'm not going to let you sample a low probability item. And another common way, I guess, um, is what's called something that's that's called beam search, which is iteratively selecting a set. So this is this it generalizes um, this generalizes um, greedy search in that you take a set. Um, and this is sort of another interesting algorithm um, because um, if you think about it, um, as you take the the beam size as the number of items you consider, so you go left to right and you consider a, a subset of k items. As you let that set be bigger and bigger and bigger, you eventually search the entire space of all possible um, continuation, all possible strings. Um, but it's often found that that's a bad idea. And the reason that's a bad idea is the same reasons we discussed before that you often don't want the mode. Um, so researchers find that this algorithm itself confers some sort of uh, inductive bias that helps finding a good, um, a good answer. <clears throat> 